Hey, Charles, Charles, let me talk to you. I'm talking with Charles Ramsey. He's a neighbor. Uh, t walk me through again what happened this afternoon. You, were, you, you heard screaming. I heard screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of her house. So I go on the porch. I go on the porch, and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. So, you know, I figured it's a, a domestic violence dispute. So I open the door, and we can't get in that way because how the door is, it's so much that a body can't fit through, only your hand. So we kick, kick the bottom, and she comes out with the little girl, and she says, call 911. My name was Amanda Berry. Now, did you know who that was when, you, when she said that? When she told me, it didn't register until I got the call in 911. And then I'm like, I'm calling the 911 for Amanda Berry? I thought this girl was dead. You know what I mean? And, and she got on the phone and she said, yes, this is me. And the detective, uh, Cook, Cook, right here, Detective Gregory Cook says, Charles, do you know who you rescued? I said, I said. Now, and when did you see, when did you see Gina? About, about, about five. We're good. So about five minutes after the police got here, see, the girl Amanda, told the police, I ain't just the only ones, it's some more girls up in that house. So they went up there, you know, 30, 40 deep, and when they came out was just astonishing, because I thought they were gonna come up with nothing. I figured, I mean, whoever she was, and like I say, my neighbor, uh, you, you got you got the, some big testicles to pull this off, bro, because we see this dude every day. I mean, every day. How long have you lived here? I've been here a year. Okay. You should come up from? Right. I barbecue with, with this dude. We eat ribs and, and whatnot and listen to salsa music. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. And you had no indication that there was not anything going on? Bro, not a clue that that girl w was in that house or anybody else was in there against their will. Because how he is, is I just, he just comes out to his backyard, plays with the dogs, tinker with his cars and motorcycles, goes back in the house. So he's somebody that you look and you look away because he's not doing nothing but the, the average stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nothing exciting about him. Well, until the day. <laughs> what, was, what was the reaction on the girl's faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight, to be Bro, around people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she's homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she ran to a black man. Charles, thank, thank you for being there, man. Charles Ramsey, neighbor, heard the screaming, took action, went and did what he needed to do. The rest is unfolding before us here on CMAR. I'm going to send it back to you.